Hi, uh, this is Isaac Higgerson, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about headland management within Operations Center. In the past, this has only been something you could do inside the monitor. Uh, you now have the ability to set up those headlands within Operations Center, so I'm going to walk you through that today. So we'll go to Setup, and we'll go to the Land Tool. And then once that loads, uh, we will find the field that we want to create a um, headland for. So I'm going to scroll down through here. We're going to go to Cross Avery's. And I'm going to click on the Boundaries tab. And then click inside my boundary. And this brings us to uh, where we can edit. We can change the name, change it between active and inactive. Uh, we're going to scroll down here to the exterior portion. And I'm going to hit the drop down here, and then under headland, I'm going to hit the drop down again, and now I have some options. Uh, constant offset, which will put a headland around my whole boundary here. Again, this is dealing with the exterior portions, not my interior uh, waterways or, or towers, whatever you have going on there, just exterior. So I'm going to choose constant offset, just to show you what that looks like. And this is up to you how far you set that. If you've got a 40-foot planter and... Um, you're going to do two passes, you know, you would set it at 80. If you got a 30-foot planter and you want to do two passes, you set it at 60. This is this is really up to you, but for today's example, I'm going to say 80 foot. As you see, that yellow dashed line um, starts to come across there. Um, so we can use this for um, ATTA on our, on our combines and on our uh, planting tractors, uh, putting down anhydrous um, to, to either be able to make set that up to make those turns. Um, we can use this to uh, so that it shuts the planter off, and then we can you know plant our end rows last. Um, but but those are some of the things that headlands can be used for. And like I said, we can now set those up here. I can also do a top and bottom offset. So I would set this to my heading angle. You know, if I want to do zero or if I want to do ninety, um, I'm going to just choose zero for today. I'm going to say I want my top offset at eighty again and my bottom offset at 80. Um, so again, now I don't worry about uh, the sides here. I'm only worrying about my top and bottom offsets. Um, if I wanted to set it at 90 degrees, then it would put it on uh, my sides over here instead of my uh, top and bottom. So I could save that and, and shoot that to uh, the display with a setup file, uh, but just wanted to show you now have the ability to build those headlands you can also snap that off of a existing guidance line you have in here. Um, so again, you just now have the ability to create those headlands within Operations Center instead of having to wait till you're in the, the piece of equipment and in the field, save you a little downtime uh, getting that created. So uh, thank you for watching today's video. Hope you learned something. Feel free to check out our other videos on the Hudson Field Guide. Thank you.